the craze, Spartan. Blitz mode, powering up. Game starts in three, two, one. Begin battle. Hey everybody, Cray Spartan here, and today i got some gameplay here for you from Halo Wars 2. And this is actually Blitz Mode, which is actually pretty fun, and I like Blitz Mode largely because it's really quick, fast-paced, uh, you don't have to build anything, you don't have to do anything, but there is definitely a strategy, and the only thing I really wish they had in Blitz Mode is more maps, because there's only the one map so far, but maybe, maybe in the future they'll add some more. But what you're going to see here is that my teammate is actually down there trying to capture Bravo. I'm actually foregoing. I'm going to let him uh, take care of that. And I think he ends up losing that spot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and gather cores. Now the, the significance of gathering cores is number one, it adds direct energy to you. So you can call in better cards or a, um, higher ranked cards. And then you can, of course, have higher rank units on the field, and then you can attack and have more sufficiency. But the second thing it does when you gather these little cores is it increases your energy rate. So by increasing your energy rate, you are able to call in units a lot more often and a lot quicker than your enemy does. So this is a good sacrifice, in my opinion, because I can do that, and my uh, teammate is just going to kind of do what he's going to do and I think by the end we just absolutely dominate him and this is a perfectly good strategy um, now by the way if you haven't if you don't know Halo Wars 2 is actually on a demo uh, free I think it's going to be free for a little while you can check it out you download it play it for yourself um, I like it I like it like you said it's the best campaign I've played in probably about four years easily uh, new campaign and the multiplayer is actually pretty awesome actually if you ever played any type of uh, real-time strategy game it's actually pretty dang good and it's got a lot of variety to it too now blitz mode is pretty simple it's kind of like strongholds in Halo 5 all you have to do is capture more points more uh, areas on the map and there's only three than your enemy and then if you capture more points you collect points uh, overall. Uh, as you can see, we're still behind, but we are contesting Bravo now, and we are gaining more uh, energy, so we are able to call in that. Now, the way the energy pool works is that when you gather the cores, it does affect your energy directly. You do gather those points to you, um, those energy points. But if you look in the bottom right, just right next to the left, of the map there the energy rate actually goes up and that goes up for both you and your teammate so that is very significant gather the cores that is what you need to do as you can see here I'm off to get some more cores and we've got the domination we've got every single point now now this is something if you go against a brand new player or something like that you're not going to uh, be all after that uh, getting the cores, they're going to try to get the points and that's a huge huge mistake because you are going to get dominated later on down the road as this uh, little match will show you. You see I'm gathering more cores and my energy rate uh, goes up as well as my teammates. Now I actually don't call in any major units because I think we just dominate them from this point on. But anyways, I definitely recommend it uh, getting Halo Wars 2, it's actually one of the best uh, real-time strategies out there right now. I mean, uh, considering uh, the competition it has, uh, StarCraft, of course, is still awesome. Uh, you have Warcraft uh, 3, which is really good too, but it is definitely showing its age. But hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll make a Warcraft 4. I'm just saying, hopefully Blizzard will do that, because that would be awesome. I love Warcraft 3, uh, and of course the expansion goes with it. It was just amazing. So. But Halo Wars 2, really fun, really enjoyable. As you see, we're just tearing them up now. They, they, they got nothing. 
Now, if you are going up against a more experienced team, you might not be able to get away with this. You won't be able to g get away with gathering all those cores so easily. The, uh, and then it does get to be pretty hectic at times. And you're calling in scarabs and, <laughs> and everything else. It is actually pretty intense. And it, that's why I like Blitz Mode. It, it only lasts maybe five minutes at, at usually about the most. I've rarely ever seen a match go to full length. Um, like I said, incredibly. Now you see me spawning uh, more units right here in our base. There is actually a reason for that. Once I spawn them in there, they don't have the spawn sickness, I'm going to call it. Uh, when you get spawn sickness, is it, they are like half health for like about eight seconds, and then you uh, they they get their full health. Unless, of course, they're destroyed before that. So spawning units right next to enemies is not the best idea. There we go. But anyways, this match is just about done, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed these quick tips and enjoy a game of Halo Wars 2. Don't forget, there is a free demo, so go ahead and check that out, download it, and maybe I'll see you online sometime. This is Cray Spartan. I am out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.